This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In the previous lesson, we looked at using adjustment layers with multiple layers in the Layers panel. So we took an image, or I did, and I split the sky from the land. But what if you don't want to do that? Well, we can still do this using adjustment layer masks. I absolutely love masks. Open up this image right here. This will be an easy one to demonstrate this on. It can get more difficult because it involves selection. I want to change the sky without impacting the building areas, and maybe I want to change the building areas a completely different way. But I do not want to split the image up. It is in one layer. It's a background. Okay. First thing is select the area that you want to use the adjustment layer with. And I would suggest in this case, if you go over to your magic wand tool right here, you actually have two. You have quick selection and magic wand. If you're not on quick selection, select it. Come over here. I'm going to start right about here. Click and drag. See how it got that area? Now watch. I just got the whole thing. Now, I'll admit, this image was easy because of the contrast between the buildings and the sky, but the quick selection tool is a pretty neat tool to know you got. We'll talk more about selection later, but here's a taste on making quick selections easy. Now, decide what you want to do. So let's go into our button over here for our adjustment layers and maybe pull it into something like, say, oh, I'll tell you what, let's try black and white. Now, in black and white, as you can see, the only thing it's changing is the sky. Why? Look over here. Now, I can hold the Alt key down and show you this. Alt click again, it goes away. When you make a selection before you create an adjustment layer, the mask is created based on the selection because you're saying this is the only area I want to change. I absolutely love masks. We will definitely be getting in and out of layer masks in other chapters. Now let's come over here. You actually have an area here to work on the mask. Let's not worry about that right now. Click this button right here, and that takes you back into the Properties panel for black and white. Now we can choose a different way for it to look. And we can play around with this all day long. You know, that looks kind of interesting. It's called infrared. Let's just leave it alone. Now come down here to the background, because what I want to do here is now I want to adjust just the buildings. So we need another mask, but we're not going to make it yet. Come down here and decide what you want to do. I think I want to do a photo filter. We haven't done that one yet. Okay, there it is. Now notice the mask is blank, just like we've been doing in the other lessons in this chapter. We haven't been using this mask. It's just there. Do this. This will be easier. I want you to come up here and select that mask. Hold down the Alt key and drag it down on top of this one and let go. I'm going to ask if you want to replace it. Say yes. You say, well, it's the same mask. It's going to change the sky. Now do this. Come down to this one, Photo Filter, select it. Come up to the word image on the pull down menu, go down to Adjustments and select Invert or Control I. Now the mask is only applied to the buildings. It's the opposite of this one. That's the easiest way to do it. If we go back into our adjustments, I don't know. Maybe cool it down a little bit with a cooling filter. And maybe then adjust the density. But as you can see, what we're doing is we're isolating areas with adjustment layers without splitting the image up into multiple layers, which really doesn't make sense by using a wonderful feature in Photoshop, masks. On to the next.